I recently went to the Weald and Downland Museum to their autumn fair and by golly I was really quite captivated by this traction engine threshing corn. Now the threshing machine is the big red machine there, not the traction engine, no, nope. <laughs> the other machine. And the idea behind the threshing machine is it actually separates the grain from the straw. And the threshing machine consists of lots of griddles and rotating drums and air blowers. Quite a complicated bit of machinery actually. But the basic idea is you put the sheaves of unthrashed corn through into a sort of hopper and they work their way through the machine, they get shaken around, they get spun in a drum and the little bits of corn drop off and go through these griddles. Little wild seeds and things you don't want <laughs> and also the chaff around the corn. The chaff is the husks or the outer case you know, of the corn. That all gets blown off as well and out one end you get straw which in this case was being used for thatching and out of the other, sort of out of a pipe very often, comes the corn. So really a very clever bit of machinery that does all that work for you. And it's great seeing it here because they had an old horse and cart turn up to take away the bundles of straw etc. And there's a tractor working a baler. It's a real hive of activity actually and what the traction engine going away as well. <laughs> it was a great sight. I really enjoyed watching it. This is one of the exhibits at the Weald and Downland Museum, their autumn show. And it's a great museum. It has lots of old buildings which have been shifted from various sites and preserved. And there's horse ploughing. The bodgers were there, needless to say, as well. There's plenty to see and do. I'll pop another film up, actually, of the autumn show and you can see the sorts of things that are there. As it happens, there is a mill on site, as well as a blacksmith. <laughs> but um, they could have taken the corn around to the mill and made some flam. Perhaps they did, I don't know. Here they are actually collecting the straw into its bundles, and that's ready for carting off. And there are some lovely thatched buildings at the museum site. So I, I know they were doing some thatching there, actually, wh while I was visiting. So I expect some of this straw probably ended up being used for thatching. Certainly employs a lot of people. Here's a diagram. You can always pause the video here if you want to see in a bit more detail how the threshing machine works and it takes you through a rather complicated passage to get the corn coming out the other end. But in a way, it's actually quite simple when you look at the diagram and the principles behind it. It's just the way it's all been set up. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.